Hey everyone, Cubic King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video showing you how to flash CyanogenMod 7 ROM on your Samsung Epic. Uh, basically this ROM has been updated so I'm going to go ahead and do a how-to video and basically go over some things with you. Uh, this ROM does have a couple bugs just I wanted to make you aware of them before you decide to flash this. Uh, the bugs are if you are on Bluetooth and you make an outbound call sometimes it won't wake the phone I think that's a bug uh, charging LED light won't light until the full charge is reached um, video rec uh, I don't think video recording works and video playback doesn't work and 4G doesn't work so just a heads up there in case you need those things for some reason and you don't want to try this ROM so uh, click on the link in the description of the video Takes you to this site. Huge, huge thanks to Decadence for uh, building this ROM for us, putting it together for us. As you can see, it's Android 2.3.7. Go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling down. And right here, download link is right here. Click on it and download this G apps as well. Download Google applications. So make sure you download both of them. They're both going to be zips. One's update CM 7.1 and the other one is G apps. So put both of those zips on your SD card. So just make sure both those zips are on your SD card. Once they are, go back to your phone and you can go ahead and power off your phone. You are going to need to be rooted and have clockwork mod as well. So just a heads up there. You are going to need to be rude and have clockwork mod. So go ahead and power off your phone, and then once it's powered off, we're going to need to go into clockwork mod. All right, now that my phone has powered off, I'm going to need to go into clockwork. To do so, volume down, camera button, and power button. At the same time, I'm going to press and hold all three of those. I press and hold till the bottom back click keys light up. Like so. All right, now I am in ACS Recovery. If you don't have ACS Recovery, I do recommend upgrading to it. Before installing this ROM, I'm going to go ahead and recommend you make an Android backup. To do so, you go uh, go down to Backups and Restore, Backup and Restore, and then just hit Backup. So just make sure you uh, do an Android backup if you haven't already before you do install this ROM. In case anything goes wrong, you can just go to the Restore option and restore your backup back to how exactly how it was. Uh, go ahead and go down. You're going to need to go down to install zip from SD card. And then just hit pre-ROM install wipe. What that's going to do is wipe your data. It's, it would wipe data factory reset as well as wipe cache and wipe Dalvik cache. So if you're on an older version, make sure you wipe your data, wipe your cache, and wipe your Dalvik cache. Dalvik cache is found in the advanced menu. So hit pre-ROM install wipe and hit yes wipe. So go ahead and wipe your data cache, Dalvik cache. And now once that's done, hit choose zip from SD card. And navigate to wherever you put that update, CM 7.1.0 Epic Kang 1022. Select it and just hit yes, install. So it's going to go ahead and uh, install the CyanogenMod 7 ROM. And once that's done, we're going to go ahead and flash the Google Apps. All right, install from SD card complete. Now go ahead and just hit choose it from SD card again. And go down to wherever you put that G apps add on. It's called GApps GB20110828 sign.zip. So select it and then hit yes, install. So go ahead and install your Google Apps add on. And once that's done, you're good to go. Go ahead and hit the back arrow and just hit reboot system now. So it's going to go ahead and reboot your phone. And when it's done, you will be good to go. As you can see, nice signage in Mod 7 uh, boot logo. Very cool. Just be patient with the first boot up since Delvic Cache was wiped and it's an initial ROM install. It might take a little while. So just be patient with that first boot up. All right, and now that my phone has powered on, as you can see, a uh, nice signage mod CM7 lock screens. You got uh, the volume on and off right there and unlock right there. So brings up backup and restore. Go ahead and hit finish setup. Brings you to the Android startup screen. Click on the guy. You can sign into your account. I'm not going to, so you don't have to watch me. And there you go. Brings up the CyanogenMod 7 home screen. You got ADW launcher, as you can see. Nice modified Nexus S live wallpaper background right there. Uh, up at the top, notification bar. You got stock gingerbread battery icon, as well as white signal bars. They will turn green, I believe, once you sign into your Google account. So just a heads up there. Go ahead and swipe down. As you can see, you do have quick panel widgets right up there. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and sound. You can click on them to get turn them on and off. You can modify those as well in settings in case you want to use different ones, but uh, just like that, that's very nice. 
Um, just scrolling through this ROM is uh, basically more of a pure Google ROM, pure Android. It is, I'm going to go to settings. As you can see, over scroll glow right there. I believe it has CRT screen off animation as well, as you can see. So just a heads up there. Go to about phone. As you can see, Android version 2.3.7 right there. So you know you are on Gingerbread 2.3.7 which is the latest Android version right now, um, CyanogenMod 710 right there. So there you go. You know you're running CyanogenMod right there. In the settings you actually have CyanogenMod settings and ADW launcher settings. So that's where those two settings are. I'm gonna go ahead and go to CyanogenMod settings. Um, you have a bunch of different settings. I'm not gonna run through all of them just because there's so many, but you can play with those as you so choose. You got lock screen options right there. Uh, basically, you got rotation, screen on, animation. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. I just checked it. Screen off animation is obviously the CRT, but screen on is the same thing, but just in reverse. So as you can see, it pops down, and then it'll open up, pop down, open up. So that's very cool. I do like that CRT screen on animation as well. You can have it rotate 180 degrees too as well, I believe. So in case you want to have it go like that upside down, you can. So very cool right there. Um, so that, that's just one of the settings that you can mess with. You got lock screen options, as I said, uh, style options, lock screen style. You have basically a ring is the one you have. You got lens, rotary, rotary revamped. Um, just be, be sure to try all of those out. I'm not going to show them to you. You guys can try them out. <laughs> Um, you also have performance tweaks. You can mess with the CPU clock settings, whether you want to overclock, I believe. You, oh, no, you can't. So you can't overclock with the kernel that comes with it right now. So just a heads up there. You can't mess with that in the settings. So I wouldn't mess with these settings at all. Um, you got, let's see what other tweaks you can do. Interface tweaks. You can mess with the, as you can see, notification power widget. Um, let's see what that is. Yeah, so you got your widget button. So basically your notification power widget is the quick panel widgets right here. You can you can add different ones. You got media, skip, pause, play. You got GPS brightness, lock screen, uh, mobile data orientation. Just a bunch of different ones that you can mess with. And you can change the order they're in. So that's in the interface menu of the signage or mod settings. So you got ADW launcher settings as well, whether you want to add more... Uh, Docs to the dock bar. It'll it comes stock with three. You can add five if you want. Just UI settings, I believe, main dock style, five icons. There you go. So now I'll have five icons in my drawer right there. Uh, go to the app drawer. It comes with some apps. Definitely um, try out the Theme Chooser app. To get themes, you're actually going to need to, you can go to the market and just type CM7 in the market, and then you can find some themes. Go to Theme Chooser. I'll show you what it does. Uh, right, I'm going to go to Cyan Bread. What that does is going to change everything to the light blue of Cyan Bread. It might take me to the uh, Android startup screen like so, but it just force closes out of it once you get to a certain point. See, force close. But don't worry about that. But as you can see now, the icons are themed as well as status bar, gingerbread battery icons, blue as well. So now you know that. And I believe over scroll glow changes as well. So right there, over scroll glow changes. But overall, this is very snappy. Great job by Decadence with this ROM. Uh, there are many other features I'm not pointing out just because I don't want this video to get too long. But um, I'm going to go to the dialer, show you guys the dialer. So gingerbread dialer right there in case you were wondering. Uh, but other than that, just a very quick ROM. I, it did have those bugs that I did point out earlier, but just a heads up there. But other than that, seems pretty snappy and smooth. Be sure to try it out if you're interested. Uh, if you do have any questions, any comments, uh, be sure to leave a comment on this video. I'll be happy to respond. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Links will be in the description of the video. And be sure to subscribe as well for future how-to videos. And thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it.